Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube, I have finally made it to Diamond 1 with the Chad Dora deck. Yes. You know, after posting two videos about my Gandoras, I have finally made it to Diamond 1. Um, this video was actually up on uh, June 19th. So by the time this video comes out, it might be... Uh, June 23rd, so um, anyway, I am going to be showing you guys my deck list of the final of my Diamond 1 Gandora. Yes, this is the only deck I used in this season, and then this got me the Diamond 1, and I was really happy. So this is the deck list. Um, there's a lot that you can change, alright, but here we go. So the difference is here is that we're only running one Gandora Dragon Destruction because I realize as I keep doing this, I keep breaking every time because like I always start up with two Gandora the Dragon Destruction, but might as well just run one copy of it because he's still good. All you really need is just one of him, and even if he's banished or sent to the graveyard, it's fine because like his effects, are, because his effect is just essentially just to boost the Giga Rays Destruction, and I added Dogaron. And Mad Flying Kaiju because of my Interrupted Kaiju Slumbers. And I'm only running two Interrupted Kaiju Slumbers because I realize I need another back row removal, but I just run one Cosmic Cyclone. Pay a thousand, target one spell trap on the field, banish. It's good. You know, it's decent. It helps me deal with, like, skill drain, Imperial Order, quick effect, you know. And it's a quick effect, so it's good. And it banishes, which is also good, because that's what my deck does. It just banishes. But my extra deck, you may notice, it's a little bit different, because um, I am running one Elich, the Mad Golden Lord. Because I realized something that during my uh, Diamond 2, um, literally, there was so many Elich players, it was, like, it was just getting out of hand, so I might as well just run that, you know? But, you know, the whole deck is pretty much just the same, but it's just the Madden Golden Lord. So it's really just mu not much new. But this deck, this final deck profile really proved to me that this is probably the best combination for this season. But there could be more updates that could come out, and I could make some more tweaks in the future. But this is the deck, pretty much. And I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay of the of the of my Gandora. Or essentially how I play my opponents from other cards too. Because Gandora is the headliner of this deck because Gandora can help deal with many things. But I also have other stuff. So let me show you some duels. Alright, here is match number one. And I believe I am going against Sword Souls! Because you know, not every player plays Sword Soul. I played Sword Soul and I understand why they're OP. But you know what? Sword Souls are lame. Gandora for life. And then just like, just look at him. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, he's just playing the common moves here. You know. Sword Souls are literal easy monsters. Sword Souls are literal synchro. Easy. You can make any synchro. You, know, look, you got your drag guy. You got your chow chow. Look at this, you got your Iris Sword Soul. Look, you only need, you summon like four cards. And then you send his turn! And then like, I drew two Gizmex. And then it's kind of just like, boom, 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 boom. You know? I'm just saying. Did this series starting on him? Summon here millions, attack his Baron, attack Venom, Venom's effect, is for all special summons, end the turn, and then he drill top top deck Panker Tops. Doesn't really affect me as much. Because I had Gizmex. And yeah, that's why he lost. Yep. Alright. Second match. Blepsy. And Blepsy, Blepsy, he's playing 
the one, the only, we're Prank Kids. And you know, Prank Kids, they take these sweet combos, you know, 50 years. You know, bring out the Bow Wow, bring out the Doodle Do. You know, and then during my turn, he's just gonna summon like there's no tomorrow. Then he brings back like a bunch of his prank kid cards and he plays Panic. Sends his Dropsy, special summon to token, Linky summon, Bow Wow. Plays Fusion Destiny from hand. Gets the DPE. Sets and ends. And then Panic's effect. Shuffle. Draw. And then just like. And then he plays his Bow Wow's effect. I play Gardala. I put Kaiju on his DPE. Trade in the Thunderbird. Thunderbird destroy set, but it's Pandemonium. Then I play Max C, and he plays Max C. Because we both know that you're gonna special summon. Alright, he fuses his prank kids. And then I'm just gonna keep drawing for days. And then he plays his three pink his prank kids chains. Draws. I put interrupted. Boom, boom, Dogaron. Put Bigfoot. Sends the Gandora. Brings out Bigfoot, draws, play Dingursu to get rid of the Battle Butler. He tributes his Butler. I play Dingursu's effect to the attached material so he won't be destroyed. Play Thunderbird, draws, and Gizmak. Alright. Dragon Loopy. Okay. Then on pause. And he plays Bear in the Floor. He plays Card Destruction. He discards. I play Max C, but he negates it. He plays No Punks. Okay, he plays another Punk. You know, Punks are just annoying because Punks are used for Synchro decks. I really want to see, like, people use, like, a full-on punk deck rather than just, like, you know, oh, you know, like, use actual of the punk cards and not just use it for support for other decks. Be original! But then again, no one is. And, hey, and my Gandora deck is very original, okay? Jesus. I forgot how long this guy even took. You think, I think he took like 20 minutes. And then he's gonna bring out 10 Ying. Like, look, he banished all his cards in the graveyard. He brings out Chen Ying. And now he has 2200, and my monsters lose 2200. Then I draw. I play a Lord. Banish Necroface. Well, I can banish even more. But he also gains power. Pot of Desires. And then I play Trade In. And then now, because there are 27 and 26 uh, cards banished. Gandora gets 51 times 300. And 51 times 300 is 15,300. But since his uh, monster also gained 5,000. Or wait. No, he gained, no, he gained like. Wait. <laughs> right, hold on. I'm trying to think. No, no. I would get 15,900. I'm sorry. My math was wrong. And then, like, he would have gone, then he got 5,300, but I also lose 5,300, so I'd be at 10,600. But then I could just attack one of his monsters, which I could either attack the Baron or the Fungeric Colossus, because it would calculate into 
that much. Or I could exact life point him with Apollo USA. And then I could just, you know, end him. Or I could just activate Andor's effect and then make Apollo, use, Apollo USA use his effect. But, you know, I'm not really a nice guy. So let's just battle. Gandora. See, guys, I told you. Gandora is still viable in this deck because of this. Yeah. God. Alright. So anyways, that was all the matches. I hope you guys enjoyed the... I hope you guys enjoyed those duels. And I hope you enjoy my new deck list. I think I finalized it to this. This was the best way to optimize, optimize it to what I could. Listen, I could add like other like search cards for Gandora. Like look, magical contract door lets me add, add a spell card to your opponent's hand, and then you get to add a level seven or eight dark monster. It's a good card, you know. It's 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 a good card, but you know. I mean, maybe I could run it in this deck sometime. Like, but I gotta make some tweaks to this deck. Because, you know. You know, maybe, like, maybe we don't need the Danger Engine or the Kaiju Engine. Maybe we could just run full power Gandora. But, you know, let me know. Maybe in the next season, I'll try to run a new full power Gandora deck. We're trying to use the Gandoras without using any of the Kaijus. Cards. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, also, guys, make sure to take a screenshot of this, and, um, yeah. And let me guys know what you want to know. Um, looking back, at, by the time you guys are watching this video, if the video seemed laggy, I am sorry. OBS is being very weird. I don't know why. I fixed it during halfway through the video, because cause I, case, I keep reading encoding overlord, overload. So, I went back and fixed it. So, hopefully the video quality is running smooth. And anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to a thousand subscribers and go big. All right, boys, 2022, baby. And expect a new video tomorrow. And anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy and bye now. Peace, YouTube. Bye, guys.